What's up guys, it's Mercifuzz here, uh, got another video for you, um, this object is a little bit harder, but, uh, it's very doable. The, uh, the volume overall we should get after doing this object is 1.888, so, if you, um, if you are doing this object and you get a volume different, then you have... Oh. Excuse me, something off. Alright, so we're going to start this object by creating a rectangle. That's good enough. And uh, now that we've created our rectangle, we should put some dimensions on it. So this should be 2.5. And this side should be 2. Okay. Now um, let's uh, let's start adding some objects. So let's add a let's add the rectangle. Well, I guess it's the rectangle part. Let's add it on the other side. Let's uh, let's draw some lines that are from the side. It's coming in. This is off, but that's okay. Our dimensions will fix that. All right, so we're gonna start trimming this up, and it's gonna start looking more like our uh, object. There we go. So um, we trimmed it up, and it's starting to look like our object a little bit right now. So before we do anything, let's uh, let's get rid of this circle, so we have all of our objects, uh, or half circle arc, I should probably say. And uh, you want to keep the line there. And then you're just going to draw the circle out to the side, and then you're just going to trim it out so it has the arc. Great job if you've done that. And now we just need to start adding dimensions, and I just messed up. Okay, let's see what we can do. Sorry, don't add your circle. My bad. Make sure you dimension it first to 0.5. Then you can add your circle. Actually, let's change this to 0.5 as well. Now you can add your circle. So go ahead and just draw that circle up. And there we go. Great. Let's see. Delete some of these dimensions. Um, now we're going to dimension these sides. So this should be 0.75 as should the other side and start to change. Great. Good job. Now we need to dimension this top side. This top shot side should be 2.5. No, it should not. It should be 1.75. As should this side. Great, now we got that done. Click on this uh, corner here, click on the corner here. That should be 0 0.5. This top one should be 0 0.25. 0 0.5 again for this. 0.25. And then finally 0.5. Uh, this side should be one as should its other side. Okay. And uh that is it. That is our thing. Our part. So if I went too fast for you, just go ahead and uh go back to the parts that you kinda miss. Um very simple. Um I kinda I use the box technique in that one. Because this one's kind of tricky, because um, you gotta edit so many things, and it just takes a while to draw the lines, I guess. But um, anyway, so let's uh, go ahead and extrude it just to make sure it's a 0.5 depth. And let's that looks right. So let's go to our properties, I properties, physical update. 1.793. Hmm, we got something wrong. Let's go back into our uh, 
sketch, so we're going to go extrusion, hit the plus, go to sketch, uh, edit sketch, and let us see what we got wrong. So let's see, we got all of our dimensions 0.25, uh, uh, let's see. This should be 1.5. Um, this side should have already changed. Yep. Alright, uh, so there you go. So add that one dimension in uh, from this line to this line as 1.5. Go back to eye properties. Uh, you gotta extrude it. Finish sketch. Uh, let's see what our dimensions are. Yep, alright, the dimensions already saved, so we go to eye properties. Physical update 1.888. Congratulations. You win a free iPod Nano. No, you don't. Not at all. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was the part for today. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Where, uh, what is this, lesson three? Lesson four, we're going to. Um, Lesson four, we're going to actually start our printout process and how to make the blueprints. And then lesson five, we're going to finish that up, and uh, that will be the first five lessons all finished. So there you go. I'll see you guys next time. Merciful.